Hey, what's going on everyone? Cameron with Exodus. Today, I am out taking a walk in the woods with Chris Creed from Afflicted Broadheads. Chris is always my go-to when it comes to anything plant identification or tree identification, and this time of year, especially oak identification. Uh, today is like September 16th, and Ohio's deer season is one week away. And we're just out here taking a walk, and we're gonna help you guys identify white oaks. White oaks are the acorn that deer prefer this time of year because of the low tannin levels, but sometimes it can be pretty confusing on, is this a white oak or is this a red oak? So today I have Chris with me and we're going to teach you guys how to identify white oaks for deer hunting. So as we're walking in this area here, trying to decide about white oaks, we are having a terrible time finding any of the white oak acorns to show you in this location. And if we look at this area right here, you can see it is absolutely tore up. I mean, it almost looks like turkeys have been in here by scratching, but it's not. This is all deer tracks. They have ripped this whole area to shreds looking for just those white oak acorns. There are plenty of northern red oak acorns all around us, but they are intentionally seeking out these white oak acorns. So this is a really good reason why you should know the difference between your white and red oaks, especially pre-season, so you can get set up, get prepared, and being in the right area where those white oak acorns are gonna fall. This is really tore up. So if you're doing your pre-season scouting or you're doing a little speed scouting like Chris and I are doing, seeing something like this is a very good identifier for, okay, maybe I should have a tree stand location in here, or maybe I should at least hang a camera to see what, what deer are using the area, which direction are they coming from. And if you look over my shoulder here, you have a water source. You have a water source here, early season water, white oak acorns. I mean, it's a it's a gold mine for, for deer. So just something as you're walking through, that may be something you consider. Uh, look for where the deer are eating those acorns. If you're in an area with a lot of white oaks, you can easily identify where the deer are feeding by just looking at the ground and noticing where they're digging up looking for the acorns. But we're gonna hop down here to another uh, white oak tree that's dropping a lot of nuts and we'll be able to identify the white oaks by the acorn. So there's three main ways to identify oak trees. One is by the bark, which is a little bit tougher. Two is by the leaf, which is the easiest. And three is by the acorn. So let's go take a look at some acorns. So this is a telltale white oak and this is really easy to determine when you look at it just by the bark. You can see you have this really light bark. It's got these long rectangles. It's kind of scaly. You can even grab some and pick it off. It comes off pretty easy. Now, these trees are extremely so slow growing, about a foot a year. And at maturity, they usually stop at about 75 feet, even though there are some recorded that are over 100. But this would be a solid mature tree. So by the bark, at a quick glance, you can pretty easily identify that as a white oak but then the leaf will always confirm it. So on white oaks, we look at this leaf here, we have these beautiful deep fissures. They go all the way down in, they're very deep. They have these nice round lobes at the top and there's no bristles. So always keep in mind between reds and whites, reds have bristles, whites do not. So we have deep fissures, round lobes with no bristles. And then as we look at the acorn, that's where things get pretty interesting. So when we look at the distinguishing part of the white oak acorn, you can see that the cap has bumps, okay? There's all these nice little bumps on here. When you, we look at the swamp white oak, we'll have bumps as well, but there'll be little tiny uh, awns or bristles around the cap and the cap will come down farther. So on the regular white oak, you're looking at the cap coming down about a quarter of the nut. The nut is elongated. Sometimes there'll be another nut on the same stem and the stem comes down uh, looking like that. Whereas on the swamp white oak, sometimes it looks like a pipe formation between the nut and the stem. But if you wanna compare this to a Northern red oak, as we look here, you can see there's a clear difference. When you look at this, which is the Northern red oak, the cap doesn't have those bumps. It has more of a snake scale, if you will. So it's an easy way to identify it. Often they're a lot rounder, squattier, heavier, but when you look at this white oak, it's an elongated acorn 
And above all, it has a lot less tannins than this nut here and will usually be preferred for the whitetail. So another thing to look for when you're identifying uh, maybe some feeding areas, some oak tree feeding areas for whitetails. Uh, I asked Chris about this, if there's a way to identify whether it's like a squirrel eating these nuts or a deer. And the way he put it was deer are really messy eaters. So if you're in an area under an oak tree and you see a lot of chunks and it looks like someone ate an apple or an ate a, like a human ate an acorn and spit it out, a lot of times that is a tall tale sign that whitetails are feeding there. And he made a good point. He said, just imagine like eating an apple and not having front teeth. And that's kind of, that's kind of how a deer eats. So if you're in an area under an oak tree and you find a bunch of shavings or chunks of acorns, most likely that's a deer feeding there. Might be a good place to put a camera or hang a stand, so. Swamp white oak. And of course we are in a little low spot here. It's kind of swampy around us. There's a, a little pool of standing water here. It's really a, a wet area almost all year. And of course kind of goes with the name swamp white oak. Like the white oak, uh, they do enjoy sun, but you can find these in a, in a lot wetter and slopier era, uh, areas down low in the valleys. But this is another one that's very easy to identify. So the swamp white oak has a little bit of a darker grayer bark. On a mature tree like this, it'll also be thicker. So when we look at this really thick bark here, you can see compared to that white oak we were looking at before, we had that scaly thin bark that was easy to take off. Well, on these big mature swamp oaks, you don't get that at the base of the tree. However, when you look up, you can see when you get way up there, you start to get into that more typical, a little bit lighter, more scalier, thinner bark. But when you look at the mature tree, it is a dead giveaway. The other thing is the leaf. So when we look at the leaf here of the swamp white oak, it's very broad. It has very small fissures. And if you compare that to the white oak that has these deep fissures, they're totally different. So it really makes them easy to distinguish. And as all white oaks, there's no bristles at these tips here at all. What I like about the swamp white oak is it kind of is the uh, part of this leaf goes towards the bur oak leaf and part of this leaf. So when you look at a bur oak leaf, which is also a white oak, it's the, it's the bigger uh, of the acorns in the white oak species. And often the cap will cover almost all of the white oak acorn. But it's funny, the leaf on a bur oak, the top of it will be really wide like this, sometimes even wider. And as you come down to the base, it then takes on uh, the regular white oak leaf here where it narrows down and you have some deeper fissures. So at the top, it's kind of like a swamp white oak. At the bottom, it's kind of like the uh, regular white oak, but it's very easy to distinguish as well. As we look at some of the acorn difference here, you can see that the swamp white oak is again, has a nut that's a really easy one to identify. On the stem, the acorns kind of grow like pipes. You again have these really um, bumpy caps, but the cap, Instead, we'll come halfway to even three quarters over the nut and we'll have ons on it, these little feathery. I know it's hard to see on these. These are immature nuts that have fallen prematurely. All the mature nuts in this area are wiped out. They are eaten. There's nothing left on the ground. Um, if you compare this to the regular white oak, you can see how this is a longer acorn and the cap only comes a quarter of the way down. And this one uh, covers a lot more of the nut. So it's a little bit of a distinguishing feature. And of course, compared to the Northern Red Oak, uh, you can see that there is a lot of differences there. And again, that just kind of helps you out. One of the other benefits of this white oak is it's something that typically falls every year and is a really good producer. And of course, as we know it, is one of the first go-to foods uh, for whitetails. It's uh, got a lot of everything that they need in it to get through the winter and build up good fat reserves and energy. And so I like to rely on white oaks uh, early season, identifying, making sure that I'm set up before season comes in areas that are gonna have really good mass production and really good attraction.